So right now on Fox 35 News, a shocking case of elderly abuse in Brevard County. These two teens are accused of abusing a woman with dementia and then live streaming it on social media. And deputies also say they made... This the second night in a row. Last night, what was it? The, the, the son, sister beating, kicking the kids and slamming them at the um, daycare center and putting it on the internet. Now we have two son sisters abusing an elderly woman with dementia, putting it on the internet. Almost like they uh, enjoy it. Come on, man. You know how we are with the old folks. Yeah, we tell we hell on some elderly man. Y'all well, just getting some payback on the old ones. Jesus. County. These two teens are accused of abusing a woman with dementia and then live streaming it on social media. And deputies also say to make matters worse, the suspects were healthcare workers trusted with keeping her safe. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte has more. I'm going to try and use restraint as uh, as I tell you about this case. Brevard County Sheriff Wayne Ivey fuming as he describes the alleged crimes of Jada Harris and Shy Bishop, the two healthcare. <laughs> Jada is shy. Weathers and neither say, of them look upset. No, nah, they're smiling in the mugshot. This is this is sick because they know nothing's going to happen to them. If they thought they were going to get fucking tied to a tree and horse whipped to within an inch of their life, <laughs> they would not be smiling, man. They fucking smile like this. They know there's nothing. I mean, really, what's going to happen? An ankle bracelet, maybe, or just maybe bonded out without an ankle braces. I don't know. But um, Weather says, speaking of car theft in Suns, in St. Louis, they're proposing cops not carry guns during traffic stops. <laughs> <laughs> they try to get these cops killed, man. God, man. No, they're, they're trying to ensure cops don't make traffic stops. Exactly. Because I wouldn't make a traffic stop if I can't carry a gun either. Hell no. Crimes of Jada Harris and Shy Bishop. The two healthcare workers are accused of abusing a woman with dementia and live streaming the entire thing. So that their friends could watch it, laugh about it as they mock this elderly person in her condition. And not only did their friends laugh, they actually made comments back and forth about how she should be dealt with and be put in a closet. So embarrassing. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, she embarrassing. It's locked her in the closet. The <laughs> it's the deal. The sheriff's office released part of the live stream video. They say it shows the two teens mocking the victim and dragging her around the room. Deputies say the victim is now safe with her family and medical health professionals. And it's and if it, it's probably glider. This is probably a glider woman. Now the glider is a glider to the white hand. Just... Yeah, well, they don't view her as human. So, it's, if yeah. it wasn't bad enough being elderly, which you know they already look like you're like a plague rat to be exterminated, apparently. That, this is just retaliation for slavery. Now we know why there ain't no fucking old people in Africa, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did the story about the old women in um, Kenya. Old people is one of those things you talk about. Uh, they would never have had that if they had not come here. Yeah, it's just it's just bizarre, man. That every day, like it's you see them in in the the putting it on social media is is that's the story. There's no one would know. They could have abused this woman for years. She has dementia. She can't tell nobody. I was gonna say, how many other women? You know, how other people have they abused? I'm sure it's a long list. They could have abused this woman for years had they not put this on social media. <sighs> say the victim is now safe with her family and medical health professionals. Please keep in mind that 99.9% .9 of health care providers uh, in our country uh, do it right. They do it because they're compassionate and they care for their patients and treat them like their own family. Deputies say the facility called the sheriff's office as soon as they learned of the election. What do you think about his number, 99%? <laughs> Despite being only 13% of healthcare workers, they uh, make up over 70% of elderly abuse, interestingly. Yeah, it's, it's um, I don't know about 99%. Um, 
Deputies say the facility called the sheriff's office as soon as they learned of the alleged abuse and fired the two suspects. They're now charged with video voyeurism and elderly abuse. Stephanie Buffmonti, Fox 35 News. It's a bizarre group of people. Man. I mean, we are a bizarre bunch, man. That is right. I continue. Jesus Christ. The putting it on social media is just the. They can't help just, themselves. Yeah, that's just the part I can't get over, man. Um, 